Micro World GX logo lesson 17.5. I want to insert this one with the shapes. It doesn't have a video to go with it, but it's all about shapes and some of the things that are special to it. Click on the color palette, the clip art. Move it over a little bit. Get it to either the singles or the doubles, doesn't matter. We'll take the penguin and uh, we'll put it in the backpack. Open the backpack with a right click. There's the penguin, turtle one. Go to the shapes. If you double click on the shape, you can change it. You can do all the things. You can do all kinds of things with like the pen up here. You can do individual pixels. Make the eyes a little green, pixel by pixel. You can do the bucket here and maybe uh, do a little pink or turquoise or whatever that is. It's still called penguin, but you can edit it. And when you hit OK at the top, OK, it's now that, that shape. The good news is you can't change the original. The original stays put. This is the new one. You could also right click and uh, take another one. Let's say I take another one, drag it over here. Upper corner here, upper left hand corner. You got several things to worry about or use, I should say. You can make it bigger instead of 8%, it goes 1600%. There's the even close up view. Here's your chest pieces. You can flip them. If you hit this one, it goes the other way. Now you got one left, one right. You can flip it this way, upside down. You can rotate it 45 or whatever angle you want. In other words, you can have the same shape six or seven times uh, flip, reflected, uh, rotated, all that kind of stuff in geometry that we talk about. You'd have to give it a name. Uh, penny. So you've got all kinds of options for taking these over here on your clip art and actually editing them, kind of like Photoshop I guess a little bit, and then making a new shape. If you go to the backpack again, you got all these shapes possibilities. You got all, I mean you've got, I don't know how many hundreds maybe. You can double click on it and you can actually start drawing by yourself, let's say you want to make a turtle that, or a, 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 ma, a, a rabbit. Let's say you want to make a rabbit and you want to draw it from shape one. Let's go with a head this way and a tail this way and a couple legs this way. Maybe an eye there. Fill in some brown. Uh, get rid of that square. Maybe go back to the line, make some whiskers, put the ears at yellow, tail yellow, whoop, tail yellow, green feet. Okay. You can make your own shape, call it something. Of course, not too many people are going to do that because what you can do is you can go out, leave this for a moment. Go to Chrome or Internet Explorer or whatever. Go to Google, of course. Go to, uh, let's say we want to take uh, President Obama. And we'll do images. Go to Google. Go to images. Let's say we take this one here. Right click. Copy image. Any clip art that you have, right click, copy it, copy image. We go back to the backpack, find one square. You'll see that the square is outlined here with this, with the, you know, this pixel here. Double click. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Right click, paste. There's President Obama. You can. Edit his ears, his eyes, don't put red in for his eyes, his lips, uh, you know, different hair. You can do all kinds of things. Give it a name, Prez. Rotate it, all kinds of stuff. Change the settings. We'll hit OK. 
Now, if I set the shape, if I have my king keys right, prez, you can copy and paste, then edit just about anything you want, including taking a picture of yourself. I do this with the iPad, take a picture of the kids, send it to their email address, then they upload it. They can take themselves or me, I guess that they like to do, or the teachers, off of the web page, right click, copy, come back to logo, paste, and you can have shapes from all over.